Welcome back to Marketing Champions. I'm Howard Walpuff, your host here on dailyadbrief.com, and we're talking about marketing with great marketers from around the country. Today, we're talking from California, and we're here with Christina Goyanis of Revel Digital Collective. Christina, welcome to the conversation today. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, it is our pleasure. Now, <laughs> you had a very exciting 2020. Now, it was an exciting year in many positive, negative ways to begin with, but you had the opportunity to start a amazing media company. And why don't you tell us a little about how and why it started and what you're doing for your clients? Oh, my, my pleasure. Um, so we, uh, my partners and I, Abby, Jade- Abby Lerner, Abby Jadakin, Abby Lerner and Amanda Jadakin. The three of us had parallel careers in the magazine business for a long time. We were editors at the helm of uh, top publications that they were itself and shape and greatest. And I was at Women's Health. And we had all organically started to work with brands that we love. I started working with Specialized, the bike company. Um, they And I started working with Cliff Bar. And they also started working with some of the brands like maternal health space, nutrition space. And we had been talking to each other all along the way, way before COVID happened. And we had been floating the idea of teaming up and combining forces to do this thing called content marketing together. And, um, and it just never seemed like an opportune time to do it. We didn't, we couldn't pause our, our, our booming business, individual businesses to do it. And, um, and then when the pause happened naturally last year, uh, it took us, it gave us a minute to sit and think, okay, there's a need now more than ever for all brands to need a more cohesive digital content strategy. They're going to need to communicate better across all their communication channels. And we've been doing this now for years, first influencing and inspiring the masses on the magazine front and now um, for a while in the brand space. And so we decided to combine forces to um, pull our talents, pull our network and go after bigger fish together with this North Star of working with brands that are dedicated to improving people's lives. It seems that with all that magazine and writing experience, this makes you all a powerhouse when it comes to content marketing. What kind of conversations are you having with companies that haven't really been successful with content marketing and and showing them what they can do to really get a marketing message through this medium? So um, this is an interesting conversation we're having a lot internally because we started off by calling ourselves a content marketing agency because that was what people were familiar with in terms of the language of identifying the industry and the space that we're in. But we've, over the last year, we just completed a year, um, we've realized that the real need is brand editorial and that's really our sweet spot and that's something that I'm taking um, the onus on the, the responsibility of educating brands of what is the brand editorial identity. A lot of brands understand what brand identity is and they understand the value of why they need that. But now what we are seeing is the need for brand editorial identity, which is how you convey your mission, your expertise, your authority, and your unique point of view in the space that you're trying to serve this with your services or your products. And so um, the number one thing that we talk about with our clients is what is your brand identity? What are what are your um, content pillars? What is obviously your voice and your tone? And what is the message you want to drive home every in every article in every communication to your social media wise uh, newsletter uh, web copy what is that message you want to deliver every time to make it clear that you are serving the wants and the needs of your customers and so we're really helping brands establish themselves as a resource so as you know the con the consumer journey is so much longer than it used to be it's not this transactional like you buy the product and move on with your life it's you can come back to brands again and again for regular reassurance and guidance and insights in the areas that they know. And so we provide that with our service journalism background, which in a nutshell means that with service journalism, that is content that is produced to serve, to uh, offer good practical and when possible science-backed advice so that people can make better decisions to improve their lives. And so we're 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 on this um, movement, this journey of of educating brands um, in the value of that, and it would be incredibly valuable for all brands if they got on board. 
And I would agree because you need to have that sort of messaging out there. It's not just a logo and a slogan. There really has to be a concept and, and really looking at it from an editorial point of view is a, is a very strong way to get the, the right messages out there and to have the conversation because that really is the key to having conversations with consumers to get your message out there, but also get a response back and forth in the process. And, and it seems that what you're doing for your clients really get, starts getting that conversation going. So it's, I appreciate what you do. It's, it's, it's not easy at all. You really have to be an expert to have the right messages out there. So I'm sure that you are doing phenomenal things for your clients. And we really appreciate you sharing that with our audience today. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> and thank you all for joining us. I can't stress enough how important content marketing is. Your company should be doing it in some way, shape, or form if you are not. But definitely look to the experts like Christina to, to guide you to make sure you have the right message out there because that's really the key. You want to have the right conversation with your customers. If there's more information on dailyadbrief.com. You want to check that out. But go out and have a great rest of the day today, and we'll see you next time on Marketing Champions.